<clears throat> hey, you're probably aware of the fact that uh, there are some things in life that are uncertain. And some things are certain. For instance, well, um, you and I are probably going to die. Well, actually, maybe that isn't also very certain depending uh, now that might be strange you might think <laughs> what I'm saying here well because you know uh, Jesus and this is all about Jesus it's not about me or any ideology or any religion it's about Jesus and Jesus is not a religion not really they've made religion out of him I'm aware of that but uh, it's about the person of Jesus and uh, and until he comes again, and when he comes again, the people that are still alive, uh, they won't, they won't be dead. So uh, maybe that isn't even a certainty. So depending when Jesus comes, of course. Now, what what is uh, really certain? We know many things are uncertain. Uh, we don't know if. Uh, we don't know if we're going to live tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen in the next hour, in the next minute. Uh, just uh, heard on the uh, news, one of the top-notch uh, people in China uh, wasn't very old. I mean, he, he got to be 68. Uh, all of a sudden, he had a heart attack, and he's gone. Now, probably this uh, morning, in the morning when he got up, he wasn't uh, sure Uh Oh, he was sure, maybe, thinking uh, things are going to go on the way they have been going on the past years and decades. But all of a sudden, the heart attack. And so there are things that are certainly uh, uncertain. But let me get uh, to the point of what, what really, really is certain. Certain is our Creator, God. He's certain. I mean, I know there are people that have doubts about that. Uh, if people have this uh, atheistic uh, tendency uh, of denying a creator, well, that's their privilege because uh, they've been created in his image uh, with a mind and uh, with the possibility of making decisions, you know. So uh, people have made the decision to think that there is no creator. Now, that was also... At some time in my life, uh, uh, a way of thinking in my life. But fortunately, that didn't hold on, fortunately, because uh, just the evidence of uh, the creation all around me, from the smallest, minute things uh, in in the macro and microcosmos to the uh, unfathomable depths of the universe, for all that to come into existence just by chance, you have to be a great, 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 great believer <laughs> to swallow something like that. It's much, much easier, I think at least, uh, to accept the fact that there is a creator. Now, this is not just uh, some uh, uh, some uh, energy or, or being that, uh, yes, uh, you know, you, you, you cannot get in touch with because... It seems by creation, he's getting in touch with us, showing us uh, his great creativity um, and uh, his intelligence and uh, his wisdom in all the things that we see around us. There is wisdom and intelligence. And most of all, I believe he revealed himself in that sense. Now, that is also something which is really unfathomable, that that he decided to help us because we got into a calamity. Uh, we got out of that relationship for which we were originally designed and created uh, to be in his presence and uh, to praise him and to worship him. But because of sin that entered into our being, um, uh, that relationship was disturbed. But because he cares for us and he loves us, he decided to become human in the form of uh, Jesus Christ. 
uh, which he became uh, as the son of God. And uh, that made all the difference. So from there on, people can become uh, knowledgeable about who God really is, what he's like. Then uh, if you're really interested in that, just read about Jesus. Well, at least in, in the New Testament, uh, not what other people think about him, uh, but what the the first witnesses that experienced him uh, and also him as the risen saviour wrote about him. You get all that information uh, in the New Testament. So if you're looking really for the truth, uh, read it, think about it and ask Jesus to reveal himself to you. You know, because he cares for you and loves you, he will do it if you really want that. Thanks for being with me again today, and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.